Hi everybody, so glad to be here with you today. I am joined with my beautiful client, Miss Melanie, and she is a certified hypnotherapist and a life coach and a Reiki practitioner. We've been working together, well, she's been taking my classes for about a year now, almost a year, and then we've done about three months of one-on-one -on -one coaching, and I wanted to bring her on and she could share some of her thoughts and just tell us a little about, her, about herself. So thank you, Melanie, for being here. Tell us a little bit about where you were when you first started this journey with me. Hi, thank you for having me. Um, so when I first started, um, you know, I was starting my business. I had just graduated not too long ago. I was figuring out where I wanted to go with everything. I was very nervous and um and I just didn't have that much confidence in myself. And so it's funny because I was doing Jeannie's breath work um, before we started working together in coaching. And so it actually started with this free um, stress detox that I went to. And I was like, oh, this sounds amazing. Let me check this out. And then like during the, the, I think it was three days, right? Did I say three days? Uh -huh. stress for, um, detox. And during one of the sessions, we did the breath work. And I was like, this is amazing. I need to know more. And with that and doing that, that was kind of the stepping stone, which got me into doing coaching, which definitely just changed everything. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, and I just want to preface by saying, like, it's okay to be nervous as we're doing the things, right? So I think people think, when I'm not nervous, when I have, I mean, we could be nervous, we probably are both nervous doing this interview, or we were nervous thinking about it, right? Or, yeah? yeah okay. Definitely. Yeah. I, don't want to call, I don't want to call you out, but I was like, maybe one of us, yeah. No, it's, but here's the thing is that we still take action. Mm -hmm. And so that's a huge thing for me too. I was nervous when I started, of course, I talk about it in a lot of my classes and the stress detox she's talking about. It's a challenge that I ran last year. So yes, it's not a, oh, I'm nervous, I'm scared. I don't do it. It's what can I do in my stretch zone? What can I do that feels good that I can, you know, like the next step, right? So I think that's really great. Yeah, so tell me a couple of the changes, like the results that have occurred at the end of this process, like where are you now and what have you seen shift for you? So, um, oh my gosh, it's like, I don't even know where to start. So, I mean, you know, within doing the breath work and, 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 and during the breath work, it's like, you know, there's, there's some coaching that's going on, you know, cause you know, you talk about a lot of different, like getting into the stretch zone and all of this, and it was the stress detox as well, but like all of that had, um, for my first achievement, which I still attribute to you, was taking the chance on coaching. Like that, that, because it took me a second going to the breathwork and all of that. And I ended up um, just, you know, pushing through all the fears and all the doubts. Um, uh, do I want to commit to this? Do I have the money? Um, what if something comes up that I want to do instead? And, wow. and all of these different like thoughts that run through your head before you're taking a leap and doing something for you and for your business. And so it pushed me to actually take the chance and stop like being afraid to that, to commit to my business, to make that commitment to just, okay, I need to do these things. I need help. Let me do this. Let me take a chance. And so now I have more clients. Um, we, we put together packages saying, you know, I mean, we had our, my first package and we celebrated and celebrate celebrated. and, um, and, you know, I'm more confident in what I'm doing and, and in myself. Um, and you know, all of this is thanks to. <laughs> and you have a launch coming up too, that you're excited about. Yes, I, I think I, I your first launch taking that away. I'm nervous. I, I mean, I'm still I still have nerves, but I'm I'm excited too. Um, right, yes. that's what I want to really highlight too. And you said <laughs> something about like getting past all the nerves. Like I know when I invested, I was never like there's like I th I just talked about it recently on Instagram. Like we're not going to be oh I'm a hundred percent not nervous. There's no fear. 
there's this acceptance of we're not going to be past all the fears and the nerves, but we take action anyway is what I'm hearing you saying. And I'm hearing you saying too, and thanks for being so honest. I really, you know, people are going to really resonate with you, Melanie, about making ourselves a priority and committing. That commitment part, I think, was the hardest for me. Um, you know, because I think there's all, all, all of these different factors, but one of which is like, well, what if I don't do it? What if I can't do it? Right. So what would you say to someone who's like, well, what if, and I hear people say this, well, she's great. And that, that, yeah, but that's not me. Like, what if I can't, like, what would you say to that? What if you can? What if you can? <laughs> what if you can? You know, okay. I mean, that's, um, you know, it, it could go either way. And, and how do you know unless you take a chance? And and it's, it's pushing through mm -hmm. that that fear and whatever fear that may come up. So, yeah, it's. And I think, too, maybe what's helpful for people, for people to know is that I work a lot with clients and with you. We did, you know, belief work, especially on money. So if we have some funky beliefs about money, right, and that's really going to stop us. So changing our, we did a lot of money work, changing our money mindset and beliefs. So I think if someone's like, my business is going to fail or I'm not going to do this or my beliefs about money, that's going to hinder us. So when we can kind of clear that up, it's not about everything is perfect. It's just this clear channel. I think that's important. Yes, definitely. I'm, I mean, I think all, all of that combined definitely like things that I, I just, I, I didn't even think of like, oh my gosh, my money mindset, like, where am I at with money? Am I scared to ask for what I'm worth? Right. You know, and, and, and what do I think I'm worth and, you know, and, and finding the balance. So yeah, all of that just played such a big part. And they were things that I, when I started this business, I definitely was not thinking about those aspects of it. So yeah. Yeah. And I can relate to like the money beliefs, right? I know we uncovered some money beliefs and something I see with clients is like what we think about money, like people who have money, like what do we think about those people, right? And then if we're trying to get money, remember, right? Does that, what does that mind, say about us? Yeah. Do you mind sharing that? Because I think that was a good breakthrough. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess I had never really thought about the, the ideas that I may have had about, you know, people who had a lot of money and it wasn't that I necessarily thought they were all bad people. It's just that there's this, like, you know, you hear the money is the root of all evil. Or yes. All these different, like, things that ring in your head. And then it's like, you know, how can you not have, like, some sort of a dilemma going on <laughs> within you when you're like, well, if it's the root of all evil, but I want it, like, what do I do? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it's, no, I was just, I remember that session. It was so eye-opening. Yeah. And that is part of the breakthroughs that we have, you know, in coaching, especially with clients. Like Melanie, I work with a lot of new entrepreneurs or people who want to either, you know, are already in it and want to bring in more money or work on the beliefs and the confidence. So it's like all this kind of like domino effect, right? It's like the confidence and the worthiness and that with more of that, we're going to make more offers and work with more. I think also like we build our resilience too, Melanie, right? It's like if we're so terrified of rejection, we're not going to want to put ourselves out there. Once we start loving ourselves more, stop judging ourselves. I mean, you've been doing, let's just like put it out there. You've been doing very consistent social media videos. Yes. yes. Oh, way my. more than before. <laughs> oh yeah. That's not, yeah. Because that's the thing I just jumped and I said to myself, you know, okay, you know, what am I, I'm scared of being, um, on camera. Um, there was that fear, right? So I was like, I just need to push through it. And then I, I started doing my, I was like, I'm going to do videos more consistently about, you know, what I talk about, what I teach in my coaching and, and, you know, and, and, and mindfulness and, and all of that. And so um, I, now, you know, I still have those moments. I mean, yeah. I, you know, you're going to have that, that, but it's not, I'm like, I'm going to do this. This is okay. I'm not, I'm speaking my truth. I'm, okay with me yes and, and I've seen that shift too because I think there's messages in our industry of you have to be a certain way right or this is the message you have to say and I've seen that with you of because you have a great I always tell you this girl has the greatest personality and I want that to shine <laughs> yeah and it's true yeah 
So it is like being, cause not, not everyone is for us, right? Like we're not for everyone. Not at, like, yeah. so it is kind of my clients will come to me. I think that's really great. And just to, again, like reiterate with, in terms of being scared, not being sure. I mean, I know you're a single mom and so a lot of moms have different priorities. And so just kudos to you for, you know, taking this jump. We can use excuses and sometimes they are legit, but this is what I know and I know you're seeing this too, is like money and time. And sometimes mm -hmm. because it's like, we're scared, we're scared of, right? So you agree, yeah. So again, just going back to what if you can and you won't know. Exactly. And, you know, you, you take a chance and then the thing is, you may fail or maybe you won't. But even if you do, you've taken that chance and you've taken that leap. And so then you get you get that choice like, OK, wait, I see where I went wrong. Let me try it this way. I mean, like, you know, it's. I mean, it, luckily. So far, <laughs> that be the case, but, you know, it, even if I had, I mean, you know, I feel like the confidence that I had already built would have given me, you know, the incentive, the, the, the drive to continue to keep going and try different ways if that didn't work because it was so exciting and it's so much, you know, seeing where you can push yourself, how far you can push yourself out of your comfort zone and yeah. grow. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming today. We're going to link um, Melanie's information. If you guys are interested in hypnotherapy, you also do life past life regressions and Reiki work. And she's amazing. And she lives close to me right here in Los Angeles. So we'll link all that up. And thank you to everybody watching. And I'll put my information here as well. So big kiss to you. Thank you for sharing your story and being brave and being vulnerable. You're going to help a lot of people do the same. Bye, everybody.